All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow coders. Welcome to the very first video in a series of videos, a free series of videos, where we're going to be diving into how to build real world Java, a real world Java app from scratch, uh, obviously using Java plus a bunch of web frameworks and so on and so forth, full stack from the front end all the way to the back end from uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all the way to a MySQL database. Um, yeah, so the app in question today, we're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna be building, I shouldn't say today, over the course of the next bunch of videos, is called Fresh Votes. Um, the reason being is because I like to build, like I said, real world Java apps. And uh, I had uh, sent a message out to my audience and they came back with a whole bunch of different apps that they would want me to build, but there was no real winner. Everyone kind of had their own thing. And then I re remembered that I have a need for an app that will allow me to do exactly what I had queried my audience about or regarding. Uh, essentially, we're gonna be building uh, sort of like a mini Reddit in this uh, real world Java app that I have named Fresh Votes. Uh, it will become available on freshvotes.com for free. So you'll be able to actually use it for free and you can obviously uh, download the uh, source code as well for free and, and poke around there and you can do whatever you like with it. So that's what we're gonna be building. Uh, so it's essentially a, uh, I like to say a mini uh, Reddit uh, because essentially it's going to be focusing on um, upvotes, hence fresh votes, right? Uh, but I guess you could also have downvotes as well because that's something that uh, comes along with the territory with Reddit. Uh, but the whole point of this app is to be able to, uh, well, I think for now the first vision I have for it is uh, to outline essentially um, uh, features. So I'm going to be building, I already have built a bunch of apps out there that are actually being used in the real world that businesses are using and paying for, people are using and paying for, um, but the thing where I kind of lack is I want to have an area where I can show uh, or ask my uh, paying customers or users or whatever um, what features it, that they would like me to add. So they can add features and suggest features um, and other customers, other users, other whatevers can go in there and see what's being um, requested and they can upvote or downvote. Okay, so uh, a plus as well, obviously ask for their own feature. So just sort of like a feature management voting system. Um, that's my, my main vision for this app and what I'm gonna be building over the next, uh, you know, course of the next few weeks. Like I said, it's gonna be called Fresh Votes. And uh, I guess in the next video, we're gonna be going into uh, exactly the requirements for Fresh Votes. So again, I'm gonna be approaching this from the position of, the, of a real world scenario. So I'm actually going to have uh, sort of written out uh, a bunch of uh, you know, documentation or something that describes in human language, in, in the English language, what the Fresh Votes app should do, what it should accomplish, what its purpose is. And then from there, we're gonna take that requ those requirements documents and we're gonna turn it into code. So I'm gonna go through that process step by step. It, this is exactly the same process that I myself personally do, whether it's in my professional career as I'm hired and paid as a programmer to develop something, or if this is a personal project that I've taken upon myself to do, the, this is the exact same process that I use every single time. And it addresses a big concern that I've seen with my students uh, with respect to how the heck do I even get started? That's a very common uh, question, a very common struggle I've seen in my students is they, they have all the knowledge. They know the programming language, they understand the syntax, they understand code flow, they understand you know decent design, that kind of thing. But once the rubber meets the road and once they're ready to go, it's like, well, I, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, whether that's a, a big project, a, a little school assignment, uh, a real world assignment that you've been given maybe at your job or as an intern or something. Very, very, very common thing. I don't even know where to begin. So that's exactly what we're going to be tackling in the next video. Um, exactly how I begin my projects every single time. So uh, just to sum up, this is going to be a multi-part series, a multi, multi, multi-part series uh, that will be 100% free. I'm going to make it available inside of YouTube. So like I said, if you want to make sure you get access to every single one of these videos, don't forget to subscribe below somewhere, wherever the button is to subscribe. Or if you're on your phone, you need to get your phone out and play with it and, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, 
or I, I watch a lot of my uh, YouTube on Xbox. Uh, so, you know, you click the button. I'm sure you know how to subscribe on Xbox or PS4 or whatever the case may be. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And like I said, the next one we'll dive into uh, the requirements documents and exactly how I take the requirements documents and turn it into actual <laughs> useful code that we can use to get started with our project. So thank you very much for watching until this point. I can't wait to see you uh, in the next video. Uh, happy learning. Take care of yourself and bye for now.